Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Ventura Cigar Company studio. With me today is June Liu. How are you doing, June? Pretty good. So today we are talking about the Punch Egg Roll. Uh, the cigar is kind of a Rothschild, four and a half inch by a 50 ring gauge. Uh, comes out of the Hatsa factory in Honduras. Uh, wrappers connect it broadly. Binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra. The filler is from Colombia, Mexico, Dominican Republic, and the United States. Uh, price point is a low $3.99, and the cigar is released in April of 2019. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like? Um, I surprisingly had a good experience. Um, in general, I'm not a fan of what um, General has done with the punchline and punchline um, within the last probably three, four years. But so kind of going into this, I thought, and eh, it's probably going to be some other kind of whatever cigar, but I liked it. Um, I, I thought that it had a really good um, uh, kind of, uh, I had this like minerally, like cream cherries that I really enjoyed. Um, uh, it, some spice came through within the retro, gave some sharp cedars, uh, a little bit of, of barnyard, um, a, a really smooth, like bread, yeasty sort of a finish um, and like a butter toast kind of a thing going on. Um, you know, I, I was really surprised. Um, I, I thought that the size was very fitting uh, for four bucks, you know, kind of smoking through this and with a shorter cigar, um, you know, it, it just, it had enough to keep me engaged. Uh, and by the time it was done, I felt like, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah. Yeah, for me, the cigar started with wood, earthiness, baking spice that quickly came to a unique walnut note to it. Um, profile kind of stayed the same until the end when the baking spice and the walnut notes had dropped out. But I felt the cigar was fairly average overall, um, even with that unique walnut note in there. Um, and, uh, you know, it has a really low price point, so it's easy to put on a try list. I mean, it's not going to, you know, break the bank just if you want to go ahead and try one. Um, you know, I, I'd smoke it again due, the, due to the price. Um, but I wouldn't be expecting much out of it, but it would be something that you could smoke and that, you know, have very pretty good performance from it. Um, but, uh, you know, if, 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 if it fits your profile and you, you know, you're short on time or something like that, it's, I think a good cigar that fits that and it's, it's super cheap. So uh, this was a limited run, so I'm not sure if they're still available out there, but if you come across them, I think it's worthwhile to, to pick some up. Uh, so getting the scores, we'll start with you, June at 6.87 and I give it a 5.50. So how do you think 6.87 matched up with your experience? Um, pretty good. This is especially really high for a journal cigar. <laughs> yeah. Um, good. I mean, I said first, second, last, third, all good throughout. Had some issues with the burn. Um, it burned really hot towards like the last third of it, uh, mm. uncomfortably hot. So I knocked it down uh, a few notches due to that. Uh, draw amazing, but I mean, yeah, I, I guess it's deserving in that score, even though it seems really high. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like I probably end up being really high on the value list for you this year, I would, I would assume. So, uh, yeah, my 5.5, I thought it was average flavor profile throughout, um, really good construction. So that's kind of what it gets into the, the mid five. So, you know, I think it, it was fine to smoke. Um, it wasn't anything spectacular for me, but it wasn't a bad cigar either. So it just kind of, it, you know, I think it served its purpose. Uh, any other final thoughts from you on this one? Uh, oh, it might be kind of a, I mean, total gimmick name, right? But it might be kind of cool for them to do like a, like a thinner ring gauge next year and call it spring roll or lumpia or something <laughs> there you go there you go all right if you're just catching this video on youtube be sure to subscribe to us well, let's check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com follow us on all social media channels and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts so itunes google play and podbean thank you for tuning in we will catch you on the next one